In fact, Biden's press secretary doesn't even want to answer even the obvious questions. Some would consider tough. I don't think it's that tough. The question that everybody has on their mind, the question that polls are showing that a vast majority of Americans agree with, and that has to do with her boss's cognitive decline. Watch this. When I told a number of people that I was talking to you today, it was interesting, though, they all said, would you please just ask her, does the president have dementia? And so before I move on from that, does he? That, Mark, Mark, I can't even believe you're asking me this question. That is a credibly offensive question to ask. But you know uh, people ask it. Wait, no, let me, no, 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 no. You, Mark, you, 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 you took, you're taking us down this rabbit hole. And so I'm not even going to truly, truly uh, 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 really, you know, take take the premise of your question. I think it is uh, incredibly insulting, and uh, and so we can you know we can move on to the next question. Gas prices and grocery prices, then big topics here in North Carolina. How does uh, Mr. Biden win votes when people don't have as much disposable income? Look, the president understands all the important. Uh, groceries, those costs have gone down because of what this president has been able to do. And th- and with that, thank you so much, Mark. Have an amazing, amazing day. Wow. Wow. And she hung up. Offensive, insulting. Uh, grocery prices are down. Uh, Karine Jean-Pierre, she needs to go shopping. The writing is on the wall. Anxiety running high. And while Democrats panic, the president does nothing. Today, no schedule events at all whatsoever. Now, President Trump, meanwhile, just accepted an invitation. He will attend the wake for NYPD officer Jonathan Diller. Remember, he was murdered by a 34-year-old career criminal with more than 20 prior arrests. How's that defund, dismantle, reimagine the police thing working? No bail laws working. Now, Biden probably isn't even aware of the violent crime now erupting in major cities. He certainly hasn't ever tried to address it. Now, tonight, he seems more worried about a political challenge from the left, that being RFK Jr., who is now peeling off a significant amount of support from Biden. Uh, and on Truth Social, President Trump wrote this, quote, RFK Jr. is the most radical left candidate in the race by far. He's a big fan of the Green News scam and other economy-killing disasters. I guess this would mean that he's going to take votes from crooked Joe Biden, which would be a great service to America. Then he continued, quote, it is great for MAGA, but the communists will make it very hard for him to even get on the ballot. Now, Kennedy is now fighting against a bureaucratic nightmare. Uh, Team Biden is going full force against him, but he's vowing to get on the ballot in all 50 states. He's considering running as a libertarian now. If he does, polls show clear wins for Donald Trump in the following stage, Georgia, Nevada, Arizona, Michigan, North Carolina, Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania. In other words, that would be an electoral blowout. But even without RFK Jr., Trump is consistently polling ahead of Biden and almost all of the key battleground states. Now, as it turns out, Americans seem to miss prosperity and peace and stability and safety and security. Now, they see what Biden is doing at the border. They know he has been spending recklessly. They see Biden inflation. It is starting to surge yet again. They reject the overbearing Green New Deal regulations. You know, you've got to get an electric vehicle. They want to take away your stove, your refrigerator, your air conditioner, and they want you to, they want to even take away your meat. The high taxes he's pushing for, the vilification of those that work hard, risk capital, and definitely pay their fair share, uh, and then some. And they look at their phones and TV, and they see a decrepit politician struggling to get up the stairs of Air Force One, the baby steps, and is so obviously unable to perform the duties of his job. There is nothing that Obama can do, Clinton can do to cover up that disaster. He might even say it. That's kind of like putting lipstick on a pig at this point. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.